Vitali Bagh, Chief of Bureau with Aviation and Defense Universe. Right now, live from Def Expo 2022, Gandhi Nagar. We have with us Commodore P.R. Hari, Chairman and Managing Director, Garden Reach Shipbuilders and Engineers Limited. Here, we are speaking to him all about the Def Expo, how this time Def Expo is different, his notions about it, and of course, the future plans, export plans for Garden Reach. Welcome to the chat room, sir. Thank you so much for your time. So we begin today this chat with knowing your views about Def Expo 2022. It has, this is one of the biggest edition which is happening this year with a lot of change. Your views on that. Thank you, Chitali. This is the third uh, defense exhibition of uh, Chennai, Lucknow, and now and Nagar. And uh, what is it that makes uh, this defense exhibition different? Is that uh, in this exhibition, all the participants are uh, Indian industry. And with the government's trust on uh, defense manufacturing, perhaps with the best move, and with the theme, it was very motivating, path to right. With India marching towards 100% the product in defense manufacturing with a target of 1,75,000 crores of uh, defense manufacturing by 2025. This is perhaps the best step that could happen in this country. As far as uh, my company, Garden Nation Builders, as uh, we are one of the premier shipyards, washing building shipyards in the nation, and with the history of having delivered 107 warships, I feel we epitomize. Currently, we are executing seven shipbuilding projects, which comprise of three projects for the Indian Navy, one for the Indian Coast Guard, and two export projects for the government of Guyana and for the government of Kuzhagi. And I am also happy to inform you that we have recently won a contract for a next generation green ferry, electric ferry for the government of this Bengal. And this will provide us an impetus in the direction of green energy and changes in the And also this will provide huge market potential both in the domestic sector as well as in export. Sir, so you talked a lot about the contracts that you have got within India, the states of India. Garden Reach has been doing a lot of exports also and has been getting a lot of uh, interest from the foreign countries as well. So what's next for Garden Reach in terms of foreign exports now? Okay, on uh, defense exports, uh, as you may be aware, we are the first uh, country, first uh, shipyard in the country to export the warship in 2014 to the government of Mauritius. And as late as last year, we exported another warship to the government of Mauritius. Right now, we are executing two projects, two export projects, one for the government of the Guyana and one for the government of the Now, what we have adopted is an aggressive marketing strategy in targeted countries. Let us say the Middle East, the Taiwan countries, and certain Latin American countries. And we are very hopeful of uh, exporting our niche projects, that is, the NCUs, the fast petrol vessels, or even Corvettes in the coming years. So, the future export production, and I feel we are in the right direction towards uh, increasing our export. Production. Right. Sir, so, uh, this time there are very less foreign delegations in DEF Expo. Now, do you think it is going to hamper your export market as foreign delegations if they don't come to Def Expo and see your products here? How they are going to ask you or you will get more orders from them? Because it's a kind of platform where you interact with people, where you interact with different collaborations. Well, the numbers may be less, but who have come out of importance. Today, we had the delegations coming from Madagascar, we have delegations coming from Maldives and, and similar nations. They are of huge interest to us with respect to opportunity for exports. While the numbers may be less, but who have come is of importance and to put them in export opportunities. And uh, also, uh, while in this exhibition the numbers may be less, as I mentioned earlier, we have already gone for an aggressive marketing strategy of employing marketing and facilitating competent marketing in the companies that we are in the countries that we are working in. So numbers really don't matter with respect to the basic percentage of the sales. On the same line, sir, I have a question. Today was a dialogue, a delegation which has come from Africa and there was a round table meeting between the RM, between the Raksha, uh, Raksha Mantri and uh, the African nations. 
Do you see a market in the African continent? Definitely. Definitely because India is definitely been supporting and encouraging exports to friendly foreign countries. And the kind of interest in the shown by this foreign country indicate that uh, there are business opportunities for India in this country. Right. Thank you so much for your time, sir. And we are just at day one. I hope next four days we see a lot of action at the DefExpo. Thank you so much for your time. Thank it's you. a pleasure speaking to you. Thank you, sir.